Hey guys, welcome back to Filmvert. We all know Aaron Kaufman ended up leaving the Gas Monkey Garage in 2016. Have you ever wondered why Aaron Kaufman suddenly made the decision to leave? Well, in this video we'll talk about the untold truth behind the sudden departure of Kaufman. What exactly happened between Rawlings and Kaufman? Watch the video till the end to find out everything about Aaron Kaufman. But before that, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos from Filmvert. Well, let's get into some of the most significant events of Kaufman's life. As you all may know, Rawlings met Kaufman while he was working at a local garage, and Rawlings was so impressed by Kaufman's work and abilities that he invited him to Gas Monkey Garage right away. Only a few years later, Kaufman was one of the lead mechanics in the garage. At this point, he had become a skillful mechanic, fabricator, and hot rodder. One significant event from Aaron's life is how back at the age of 16, he used his first Jeep Cherokee. But that wasn't his dream car, so instead of stopping there, he used it to get better in the mechanical area. He relied greatly on his distinctive capability to succeed at what he does and what he wants to do even if he didn't have any advanced experience in the mechanical field. So even without getting any real professional experience, he still managed to learn more about mechanics using his Cherokee. He used it as a sample to practice on as he enjoyed dismantling and reassembling it into its original or an improved condition. Another event worth knowing is how he made it to the recording session of Fast and Loud three days after having a surgery. If you don't know about Fast and Loud, it's a show in which Rawlings and Kaufman travel to different parts of the world to find cars in bad condition and brought them back to a properly functional state. Well, it's just Richard Rawlings now, but if you're into cars, you'll definitely enjoy the show. Anyway, Kaufman wasn't the type of person who liked to share his personal life experiences, so during the recording session he attended after his surgery, the director or any of the crew didn't even know about his condition. If you do keep up with Fast and Loud, you'll definitely know about Kaufman's well-known customized 1963 Ford Falcon race car that he created himself during Season 4 of the show. It was a fully customized car with a 363ci Ford Boss V8 engine that generated over 500 horsepower. This was also the car that he raced at Pikes Peak in 2016. In 2017, he put it up for sale on eBay, something that shocked many fans for sure. He ended up selling it for $65,000 to a buyer who in our opinion was very lucky, don't you think so? One of the most significant events in Kaufman's life was his departure from Gas Monkey. While working in the garage, he was forced to work extremely hard and had to do tasks that didn't match his desires. Due to that, he wished to escape the shadow of his demanding boss, that was Rawlings of course, even while working at the garage. As you must know, Kaufman is the type of person who tends to focus on bigger and more unique tasks. The garage and the constant demands of Rawlings just weren't working for him and they went against what he was looking for. So in 2016, he finally made the decision to leave the garage, but that didn't mean the end of his career. He is still faced with many possibilities and opportunities as he has a private auto shop named Arclight Fabrication in Dallas where he is in charge himself, so no demanding boss to work for there. Moreover, he also started hosting a show on the Discovery Channel named Shifting Gears with Aaron Kaufman, where he focused on car design patterns that he was personally passionate about. The second season of the show aired in 2018 and we're currently waiting on a third one, so let's see how long that'll be. However, despite any of the differences they had as mechanics, Kaufman has exclusively said that him and Rawlings are on good terms, and he still considers him a good friend. Anyway, tell us which show you enjoyed more between Fast and Loud or Shifting Gears. Leave your answers in the comments below. So that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more entertaining videos. Also, press the bell icon so you can get notifications when we post in the future, and we'll see you guys in the next video.